Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Prayer. Uh, today is 7th July, the birthday of Master Ryuho Okawa, descendant day of El Cantare. We will express our deepest gratitude to Lord El Cantare. Thank you so much. Uh, Master Ryuho Okawa was born in Kawashima, Shikoku, uh, Tokushima Prefecture in Japan. Uh, fortunately, I was in Seitankan, uh, it's in Kawashima, for one and a half year, and I've experienced the Kawashima uh, village life. And at that place, uh, at that place is not so uh, rural, urban area. It's very rural area, countryside. It's very hard to uh, live, not so convenient place. And from that place, Master did uh, self-development. Master do a lot of effort. Through this effort, Master do, did self-establishments. Today's topic is about that, self-establishment. Maybe you already read this book, Twice Born. The uh, previous title was El Cantare in His Youth, but now it's published as this book, Twice Born. This is about uh, his life, Master Ryuho Okawa's life in his youth. In that uh, lecture on this book, Master told about like this. This is not published, so this is my translation, but I want to introduce this sentence. Uh, the me intention, uh, we can understand his intention, why he wrote this book. Now I expert. In the main path of Buddhism, you must first conquer yourself. The basic idea of Buddhism is to conquer yourself, establish yourself, and then do the work of saving others. As you can see, there is a slight difference in the way of thinking among different religions. During the period of self-establishment, you may be taking care of your parents and taking away their love. That is one aspect. However, Buddhism has a basic pattern of saving people after they have established themselves. To uh, cultivate yourself or establish yourself is not so easy. If you do not plow your own field, who will plow it for you? If you do not plow your own field, then who will plot it for you? Therefore, each person must first cultivate his or her own field. In cultivating one's own field, one becomes enlightened. They learn how to grow crops and how to cultivate a good field. Eventually, he will teach this to these among him. I want you to know that this is a process we are going through. Master taught like this. So first, we need to do self-establishment. After that, we can save others. This is a process to saving others. And through this book, Master taught how to make ourselves through his life. Why uh, do you think, why El Cantare born in countryside. I think he wants to show the power of our mind or power of decision will make your own way. This is uh, what he wants to express he, through his life, I, I imagine. In Master's past life, there is Shakamuni Buddha or Hermes or others. These are kings. They are kings. 
they, are, they were born in high class. But in modern society, it's like a democratic society. So he wants to show how to change your life with your decision power through his life. So this is a kind of salvation, one way of salvation. If uh, he born at a high class person and being success, it's also a good way. But he is in he was born in poor country, a poor family, poor home, and he did great effort. He showed great effort and become success. This life shows our mind can change our future. Our effort can change our future. This is a kind of salvation or good news from El Cantare. So El Cantare is high and mighty. It's like a very great being. So he originally he has he don't need to do effort because it's high and mighty itself. But he born in poor family and did great effort and show the way to success. It means through his life we can study how to develop myself through effort. So we cannot do excuse. We cannot say excuse if we study after he we study his life. Because El Cantare didn't do excuse and do success. This is a kind of salvation. His original fa family house is very small. So sometimes foreign people come to his house and bow and worship to uh, his house. And they first, at the first moment, they saw master's house. They surprised. Even this small house, Savior can, uh, born, can be born. And why Savior choose this house? They contemplate and they found this is salvation. This is good news itself, they found. So we cannot excuse circumstances. Even countryside, even poor family, we can success. Through this book, you can study uh, such kind of enlightenment. And this is uh, today's my speech. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you for listening. Now let's start Happy Science Morning Prayer. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven through the prism of Buddha. There appear the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly. 
because of gathering of Bodhisattvas. This is a land of love or the land of mercy. This is a land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is a land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat. So you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to pound in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true words mean the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words. And Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or, to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your pasts have already gone by. Yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is a reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite such people to Buddha land. Now here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other. Live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas. Believe in that the light has reality. Believe in that love has reality. Believe in that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind. And live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we bow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. 
May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O、oh、Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love, Earth. Protect us from all evil and open a future for us. O、oh、Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits. My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Thank you for joining. Having a wonderful day.